Before we go any further, I want to geek out for just a moment and I want to show you how I created that effect. What I'm about to show you can be done in just about any version of the software that, that exists in the last 10 years, probably longer. I'm going to create a rectangle. A rectangle that sits in this space right here. This rectangle will have no outline on it and we'll, we'll do the fill pattern in a moment. But first I want to send this rectangle backwards. So now it is sitting in front of the photo but behind the text. Now let's bring up the format shape task pane where we're going to fill this rectangle with a gradient fill pattern. That gradient fill pattern is going to move from left to right, so the angle is going to be zero. We don't care about any of these intermediate points, so I'm going to remove both of them. And now we're just interested in the, uh, in, in the, the left stop and the right stop, and I'm going to make the left one black, and I'm going to make the right one also black. <laughs> Quite a gradient from black to black, huh? <laughs> but here's the thing. The one on the left side, we're going to dial up a level of transparency. And as I start to move this little slider, you're going to see it start to happen. See that? We're going to take this all the way to 100, which just makes the rectangle fade away. When you blend simple text messages with relevant photography, you create experiences for your audience that will distinguish you from 99% of the people <laughs> giving presentations today. And uh, these semi-transparent shapes are wonderful problem solvers because then you don't have to just be so boxy with your design. You know, put a photo down here, put the text above it. Instead, you can think about how you might blend them this way.